Right now, Quadron Wilson testifies in the trial involving a DCI agent who opened fire on him two years ago. Hear what he remembers about the shooting. Also, more wet weather will give way to sunshine later this week. Alex shares his first born forecast. Thanks for sticking with us tonight at 5, everybody. Eric is off this week. We're continuing to follow a developing story. Quadron Wilson, a man shot by a DCI agent agent in Madison more than two years ago took the stand today in the trial against that agent, Mark Wagner. Wagner's trial began last week. He's charged with endangering the public when he began shooting at Wilson as party of an arrest operation. Wilson was wanted by authorities for drug-related crimes. Today on the stand, Wilson shared what happened after Wagner shot him. He was just on top of me. He was just like, if you move, you don't, don't move or I'll I don't even want to repeat this. Was that once the officers got inside the vehicle? Yeah, he was like, he's hit, he's hit, like it wasn't nothing or something like Wilson was sentenced to three years in prison after being convicted on two drug-related charges. Wagner's trial is ongoing. It's likely we will continue to hear from key witnesses. It's scheduled to last until the end of the week. More wet weather after the snowfall we saw over the weekend. Scattered showers and perhaps an isolated thunderstorm. Some gusty winds are in the forecast for overnight. So let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Hi, Alex. Hey there, Susan. Yeah, March is going out like a lion here, especially for parts of southern Wisconsin. Not everyone's getting their rain just yet. We all stand the chance of it. Let's eye in and see who's getting the rainfall right now. And Dane County points to the east of downtown Madison, out towards Sun Prairie, Cottage Grove. Take a little trip to the south down towards Janesville. That's where that rain is coming up from, coming up from the south. So pretty heavy pitter patters. Beloit over towards Clinton, up towards Janesville as it moves from south to north across the area. Pretty sharp cutoff over portions of southwestern Wisconsin where had some folks on social media saying, where is the rain? You will get rain coming up in Maine weather. We'll show you the projection of future track bringing some more scattered showers and thunderstorms. Susan said some of those isol isolated storms, those are the yellows points along I-90 Madison, Janesville over towards Watertown and Jefferson. You stay on the better chance of seeing those isolated thunderstorms with maybe some pea-sized hail tonight. Overnight low temperatures, if you want to call them lows, these are normal highs for this time of year, upper 40s to right around 50. That's what you're going to wake up to, and then we'll do low 50s before colder weather comes in. Susan said sun, but we're going to trade the sun with cold temperatures too, that's coming up. All right, Alex, thank you. Madison police are still searching for a person of interest involved in a shooting over the weekend. Early yesterday morning, police say someone shot a man on Gorham Street near State Street. The victim survived but was rushed to a local hospital. Police say it was a targeted act of violence. Officers blocked off the scene for nearly four hours. Police have not released a description of the person they're looking for. Anyone with information on the shooting is asked to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers. The number is 608-266-6014. Election Day is a little more than a week away, and many voters will see school referenda on their ballots. Political reporter Will Keneally is here with more on what you need to know before heading into the voting booth. Will? Well, Susan, we won't see a school referendum on the ballot where our station is here in Madison, but at least 19 different school districts in our viewing area will vote on a referendum this April, and for a multitude of reasons. The common theme, though, schools just need more money. In the 2021 to 2023 budget, those revenue limits were frozen altogether, and that happened to coincide with skyrocketing inflation, which caused some financial distress for many districts. In recent years, school districts have turned to referenda amid rising costs. Their funding largely comes from two places, the state government and local property taxes. State law puts a cap on how much the districts can raise, and these referenda allow the local districts to exceed that cap with the consent of local taxpayers. There are two main types of referenda. The first is a capital referendum, also called a debt service referendum. And those are funds that would be specifically tagged for big projects related to capital improvements, usually construction or renovations. This year, for example, voters in the River Valley School District will be asked to okay $14.5 million for an addition to the high school's performing arts center. 
The other type of referendum is what's called an operating referendum, when districts need more money to just keep the lights on. Wisconsin Policy Forum's Sarah Shaw says we usually see operating referenda when districts have fewer students. Because of that declining enrollment, the school funding formula takes student enrollment as a primary factor. So if your enrollment's going down, your revenue limit is, is going down as well. Um, and similarly, low-income districts are more likely to pass operating referenda, and high-income districts are more likely to pass capital referenda. The idea here, that districts with increasing enrollment need to build more to house more students. If you see the word recurring by your referendum, that means that the district wants that raise forever. Non-recurring means that raise will sunset. Part of why we may be seeing a higher number of districts going to referendum in this cycle, um, because the federal relief funding for pandemic aid is now going away and districts are having to really face what their current constraints are. Now voters will decide on those referenda April 2nd. And you can see more of our campaign 2024 election coverage tomorrow at 630 during our Battleground Wisconsin special report. Well, thank you. March is the month of tournaments. The Wisconsin men's hockey team knows who they'll face in the first round of the tur NCAA tournament. The Badgers will battle the defending national champions, the Quinnipiac Bobcats, on Friday. If they win two games, they would move on to the Frozen Four in St. Paul, Minnesota. The Badgers finished the regular season on a bit of a sour note, losing against Ohio State in the Big Ten tournament, but Coach Mike Hastings says the energy heading into their first round matchup is exactly where you want it to be. The guys have been, they've been really excited about how can you not be? When you're one of 16 teams playing at this time of the year, it's a goal you have going all the way back to the summer. You want to take advantage of the opportunity that you have. And so their energy has been very good. They've been willing to put in the work. The puck drops on Friday, 4.30 in Providence, Rhode Island. The Brewers open the 2024 season in three days when they travel to New York to face the Mets. But a new feature at American Family Field will await them for next week's home opener. The team unveiled two new scoreboards this morning, one above the batter's eye in center field and another above the right center field seats. Milwaukee welcomes in the Minnesota Twins Tuesday, April April 2nd in their home opener. First pitch is set for 3.10 p.m. Turning now to national news, former President Donald Trump had two legal woes playing out in courtrooms today. One now has a trial date, and as Jared Hill reports, the other cuts him a break on a bond amount. Former President Donald Trump left court Monday with somewhat mixed results in two legal issues playing out in separate venues. This is all about election interference. The former president lashed out after a judge refused to delay one case in New York criminal court. The judge setting a trial date of April 15th for the case involving hush money payments made to former adult film star Stormy Daniels and others. Trump has pleaded not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records. His attorneys are appealing. We very much believe that starting this trial in April or even starting this trial at any point before, before the election is completely unfair to President Trump. A conviction in this case wouldn't prevent Trump from running for or being elected president, but another judgment could threaten to ruin his image as a successful businessman. Today was due day for a nearly half a billion dollar bond covering a civil judgment that found Trump inflated the value of his properties and his net worth in order to secure favorable loans. But this morning, an appeals panel granted a stay, giving Trump 10 days to pay a reduced bond of $175 million, which he says he'll pay in cash. So I respect the appellate division for substantially reducing that ridiculous amount of money. New York State Attorney General Letitia James released a statement saying Trump is still facing accountability for his, quote, staggering fraud, and that the original judgment plus interest still stands. Jared Hill. CBS News, New York. We have more stories straight ahead at five. Boeing's leader is stepping down as more issues continue to follow the company following a door blowout on an airplane earlier this month. The timeline for Dave Calhoun's looming exit next. And investors took a break from their rally. The Dow Industrials lost 162 points. The Nasdaq was down 44 and the S&P was down almost 16. We'll be right back. 
Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get up to $8,500 off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to hit the road, tackle the yard, or start a new project, we get you the right products at the right prices. Like 20-pound bags of Blaine's brand black oil sunflower seed, just $12.99. These Scott's Turf Builder products start at $64.99 after sale and mail-in rebate. All Longfield spring bulbs, 15% off. And all Bucket Boss tool bags and accessories, 20% off. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. What if antibodies from sharks cured cancer? What if breast cancer was prevented with a vaccine? What if new science became clinical trials in real time? At UW Health Carbone Cancer Center, we search the depths of the ocean, the edges of space, turning possibilities into life-saving solutions and what-ifs into remarkable realities. UW Health Carbone Cancer Center. Remarkable. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Catch the Bucks on broadcast TV when they square off with the Pelicans on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch Giannis and the Bucks fly into NOLA to zap Zion and the soaring Pelicans. It's Dame time in the Big Easy. Bucks, Pelicans, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Thursday, March 28th at 7 on Television Wisconsin. Coming up on News 3 Now, UW-Madison men's hockey team gears up for the NCAA tournament to hear from players as they prepare for the road ahead. Then hope is blooming in Janesville. We take you inside the city's new cancer care center tonight at 6. News 3 Now brings you a preview of Wisconsin spring elections, what you need to know before heading to the polls on April 2nd. Plus analysis from both sides on the key issues today and moving forward to November. Campaign 2024, Battleground Wisconsin, Tuesday at 6.30. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. There is a major shakeup at Boeing amid the company's ongoing troubles. Several top officials, including the CEO, are stepping down this year. Chris Van Cleve has the details. Dave Calhoun was brought on as Boeing CEO in 2020 to write the company after two 737 MAX jets crashed, killing 346 people. Now he says he'll leave by the end of the year, following January's 737 door panel blowout during an Alaska Airlines flight. We have another mountain to climb. Calhoun told CNBC he's not leaving right away because he wants to see Boeing through this latest turbulence. Let's not avoid what happened with Alaska Air. Let's not avoid the call for action. Let's not avoid the changes that we have to make in our factory. Let's not avoid the need to slow down a bit and let the supply chain catch up. Since the Alaska Airlines incident, federal investigators have found issues with Boeing 737 production process, including indications the door panel's bolts were not reinstalled after repair work was done on the Boeing production line. It's going to take well into next year to get the house fully back in order. Uh, this is going to be a multi-year process. Scott Hamilton is an aviation industry consultant for Leham Company in Washington State. He says Boeing needs to look outside for its next leader. The problem with staying inside the company, whether it's for a corporate level or for Boeing commercial airplanes, is that they're really steeped in the culture that is broken right now. Calhoun is one of three top executives departing the company. Boeing's board chair and head of commercial airplanes are also leaving. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News. Costco is keeping a closer watch on its buck 50 hot dogs, drinks, and pizza slices. A Reddit photo from a Costco in Orlando, Florida, 
shows a sign that says people without an active Costco membership card won't be allowed to buy items from the food court. Now, this rule was always in place, but analysts say it was never really enforced. However, the membership card rule officially becomes effective two weeks from today. April 8th. Nationwide organizations are working to help keep families fed. That includes after school programs, including one in Florida that is providing kids and their families access to healthy fruits and vegetables. Lydia Vasquez shows us how. One strawberry, one lemon, okay guys? All year long, the Boys and Girls Club and Feeding Tampa Bay work together so that these kiddos have something to eat after school. But new this year is this truck filled with fresh Florida produce. Most people nowadays, regardless of where they live, don't necessarily have an opportunity to eat fresh fruit and produce, but especially in the inner city, because there aren't a lot of farms or um, backyard gardens um, where they live. I've got strawberries, two peppers. Once a month, the produce truck will park outside Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club and kids get to pack a bag to take home. As we know, the prices in food has skyrocketed, especially in produce. So it gives me that extra that I need to make it through. You know, so it's very helpful. It supports so many families in need dealing with the rising cost of food. Being a father is being, it's great. It's amazing. Uh, the price of food going up is not so great. <laughs> food is very expensive nowadays, and especially with three kids, it's, 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 real, it's a little tough. And thanks to these partnerships and a truck filled with fresh food, parents tell me their healthy habits can continue even outside their home. I can only do so much at home. It's a big importance that they're able to get more options uh, and more places too as well. It just makes me feel good to know that my kids are able to have healthy alternatives when they're not home with me. Organizers with the Boys and Girls Club tell me they hope something as simple as a few fresh pieces of fruit will create a long-term benefit not just for the kids but their families too. Exposing them to these kinds of healthy foods at an early age helps them to grow up and realize that there is a healthier way to live as an adult. Programs like this one are important. A new report found we're paying 25% more for groceries right now than before the pandemic. The produce truck is helping keep kids and families fed with foods that are healthy for them. Over to the Weather Center now. As we watch the rain continue to fall, here's Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Thanks, Susan. Yeah, very mild overnight tonight as we track those rain showers with the rain showers. Very, very warm temperatures, staying wet through your Tuesday. I can guarantee you, though, we will be much colder by the time we get to this point on Wednesday. Planning your evening tonight, rain showers, especially from Madison and points to the east. But look at these temperatures hovering right around 50 degrees, about where we should be for this time of year. Let's track some of these showers here. A little bit heavier near Garden Village, just north of Beloit, over towards La Prairie, just south of Janesville. They're moving from south to north across the area, so we'll take a little tour here. East of Cottage Grove, it's dry probably in Cottage Grove right now, but Deerfield, along I-94 towards the east, towards Lake Mills. If you're heading off towards Milwaukee, towards Johnson Creek, it's wet. But then to the west, west of Madison, our friends out Lone Rock, Dodgeville, Richland Center, Prairie du Chien, and Platteville. I know some of you have been reaching out to me saying, where is the rain? Well, there's more where that came from. We can track that here. Nine o'clock tonight, showers a little bit less over southwestern Wisconsin, at least with this batch, heavier from Madison and points to the east, maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two. But as we go from midnight into the wee hours of your morning towards six o'clock on your morning watch over southwestern Wisconsin, a couple more scattered showers and thunderstorms developing as the weather system starts to move towards the east. And then one more batch here as we head towards noon, showers and an isolated a thunderstorm from Mineral Point up to Madison, swinging on over to just north of Janesville, over towards Jefferson. And then that's it, because this is the cold front that's going to be sweeping on through as we go through the afternoon, and those temperatures will go down when that cold front comes through. Overall amounts will say half inch to a quarter of an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch in southwestern Wisconsin. The heavier rain looks to eye up, as I was mentioning before, along I-90 and points to the east. 
uh, half inch, three quarters of an inch in Madison, maybe upwards of an inch as you head over towards Milwaukee. But we'll take whatever raindrops we can get out there. These are the high temperatures on your Tuesday. They will be in the early afternoon and then sweeping in behind it right at about this time, five o'clock at night, will be 39 degrees in Madison, upper 30s over southwestern Wisconsin. So any residual rain that's left may mix in with a couple of wet snowflakes as the storm kicks on out of here. Showers and thunderstorms tonight. Temperatures fall on Tuesday and a cold Wednesday. That's the recap here of your weather forecast. Promise sunshine as we go on into your Wednesday. Breezy and colder will only do 40 degrees. That's about 10 degrees below normal. But then we boost back up as we head towards Friday, Saturday, even going out beyond that out into the weekend and the following work week. Temperatures staying seasonably cool for this time of year. No snow in the forecast, at least not big snows at at this point in time. Taking a look at first warrant traffic here, eastbound and westbound. Things are going pretty good. 55 to 60 miles per hour north and southbound on 39. You got a good clip at 65. Down towards Janesville, just looking at this earlier, a little bit slower southbound at 66, be probably because of the heavier rain showers that I was just showing down towards Beloit. No raindrops up towards the Dells, at least not heavy raindrops, but things are a little bit on the slower side at 65 miles per hour. Take it easy, Susan, on the roads tonight. Get the windshield wipers going and just be careful. There will be that glare on the roads with those, re oh, with those wet roadways. All right, Alex, thanks so much. When we come back, the four men suspect of killing more than 100 people inside a Russian concert hall appear in court. We'll go inside court for that appearance next. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Experience the versatility of the Lexus line of SUVs and special offers on select models at the Invitation to Lexus sales event. Get special offers on the 2024 RX 350 Premium All-Wheel Drive. I'm Jonathan Lawson, here to tell you about life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program. If you're age 50 to 85 and looking to buy life insurance on a fixed budget, remember the three Ps. The three what? The three Ps. What are the three P's? The three P's of life insurance on a fixed budget are price, price, and price. A price you can afford, a price that can't increase, and a price that fits your budget. I'm 54 and was a smoker, but quit. What's my price? You can get coverage for $9.95 a month. I'm 65, retired, and take medications. What's my price? Also $9.95 a month. I just turned 80 and I'm on a fixed income. What's my price? $9.95 a month for you two. If you're age 50 to 85, call now about the number one most popular whole life insurance plan available through the Colonial Pen Program. Options start at $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. You cannot be turned down because of your health. No medical exam, no health questions. Your acceptance is guaranteed. And this plan has a guaranteed lifetime rate lock, so your rate can never go up for any reason. Options start at $9.95 a month. Plus, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So call now for free information, and you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. Use this valuable guide to record your important information and give helpful direction to your loved ones with your final wishes. And it's yours free, just for calling. So call now for free information. Call 1-800-914-3131 for your free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-914-3131. There's no risk or obligation. 1-800-914-3131. Call now. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. Experience the exhilaration of the Lexus Performance Line 
have special offers on select models at the Invitation to Lexus sales event. Get special offers on the 2024 ES350. You're watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Teams of Russian rescuers continue to clear debris at the concert hall outside Moscow, attacked by gunmen on Friday, killing 137 people in Russia's deadliest terror attack in nearly 20 years. At least 180 others were wounded. The suspected gunmen were arrested while trying to flee the country. They were taken to court, appearing badly beaten. Russian state media reports three have since admitted their guilt. Wendy Gillette brings us the latest. Over the weekend, four suspects accused of the deadliest attack in Russia in two decades appeared in court. The men were bruised and one sat in a wheelchair with his eyes closed. It's unclear how they were injured. The court said three of them submitted guilty pleas. Priests held a prayer service at a makeshift memorial outside Krakow City Hall that keeps growing as mourners leave flowers and stuffed animals. Russian President Vladimir Putin lit a candle for the victim Sunday as the country marked the National Day of Mourning. The Islamic State released a video of what it said was the beginning of the attack after claiming responsibility. In an address to the nation, Putin did not mention ISIS and instead pointed the finger at Ukraine, saying the attackers were getting help across the border while trying to escape. Vladimir Putin is already trying to link this to Ukraine and say that Ukraine is responsible. Does the U.S. have any evidence to back that up? No, there is no whatsoever any evidence. And in fact, what we know to be the case is that ISIS-K is actually, um, by all accounts, responsible for what happened. Ukraine also denied any involvement. The U.S. says it had warned Russia about an imminent attack. We also know that ISIS is relying on its regional affiliates to attack its interests in the West. At the concert hall that was set on fire during the assault, crews are working to sift through the debris. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. Stay with us. Alex has a final check on your forecast when we come back. When you've been seriously injured, you'll need a team with knowledge and experience to get the results you deserve. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. Get an 11% rebate on your bathroom remodel. Menards carries a wide variety of Delta tubs and showers sure to fit your lifestyle. They're designed with durability in mind. This low-maintenance, high-crop shower is on sale for $569.99 after rebate. Get style and durability at a budget-friendly price. This Huron vinyl plank flooring is waterproof, easy to install, and only $169 per square foot after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood 3 to 1 and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty Matters. For Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. Catch the Bucks on Broadcast TV when they square off with the Pelicans on your new local home for select Bucks games. 
Watch Giannis and the Bucks fly into NOLA to zap Zion and the soaring Pelicans. It's Dame time in the Big Easy. Bucks, Pelicans, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Thursday, March 28th at 7 on Television Wisconsin. We've successfully represented people injured in truck accidents for more than 35 years. We know what it takes to get the results you deserve. Groover Law Offices. One call, that's all. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, the scandal rocking Major League Baseball. Dodgers player Shohei Otani breaking his silence today after his interpreter was accused of stealing $4.5 million to pay off gambling debts. That and more headlines tonight on the CBS Evening News. Finally tonight at 5, take a look at these shoe designs. These Nike Air Force Ones were designed and painted by 40 students in the Washington, D.C. area. The National Cherry Blossom Festival, of course, is underway right now. And that's why the shoes were designed with a theme of let's spring together. These sneakers will be on display this weekend in our nation's capital before return to the student artists who painted them. Well, I love painted. them. Yeah, yes. great. I need to get a pair myself. <laughs> yeah. right? I mean, we're marching into spring. We're not quite cherry blossom weather yet, but we're making some progress out there. We got spring showers out there. The blossoms getting a drink. They're getting their water that they need so that we can get those flowers to bloom out there. 50s. Look at that, Susan. As we go into the midnight hour and into the wee hours of the morning, temperatures staying right around 50, but by 5 o'clock, those temperatures crash behind the weather system as the as we track those rain showers changing over to some snow showers at the end. All in all, Madison points to the east and the better chances for the heavier precipitation. Still decent amount over southwestern Wisconsin, quarter to half inch. And after this weather event here, maybe a little bit more rain towards Friday and Saturday. All right, Alex. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your evening. The CBS Evening News is coming up next and hope to see you back here at 6.